All right, boys and girls. Um, I, this video is gonna help us finish our self-portrait, um, or at least work on it a little bit more. Since we left off, I think you have probably added some hair to yours. You'll see that I added some hair to mine. I also added a neck. So if, you're, if you have not added a neck to yours, go ahead and add that now. Um, what I want to do now is work on, if you haven't added some color to your eyes, now is a good time to do that. I have eyes that are kind of a funny color. So I have some green in my eyes. So I'm adding a little green to mine. And I have some brown and I have some yellow and I have some blue. So I have a couple different colors in my eyes. You might have those same kinds of colors in your eyes or you might have your eyes are one color, maybe they're brown, maybe they're blue. Um, so make sure you add the color that matches what your eyes actually look like. So I'm adding mine. Mine have some color in them. All right. And I need to, let's see, what else does our portrait need? Um, I have a mouth here. And we need to add some detail to the mouth. When we started working on ours, we just did the shape of a mouth. If you did a, you know, an upside down rainbow or a U-shaped mouth, you may not add, need to add a lot of detail to yours, but I need to add some detail to mine because I have this big old mouth. And so I'm going to, mm, I'm not liking the way that color looks. I'm switching to another color that's okay if you do that um, uh, I'm adding some lips to mine because I have lips and I'm sort of sketching it on there and then filling in my lips now what happens if you make a mistake well this is what's what's the truth about making mistakes when you're doing artwork. Everybody makes mistakes and it doesn't really matter. I know sometimes we think it's, you know, it ruins our picture, but the truth is it's fine. It's fine. And sometimes we have something we don't like about it, but that's okay. I also need to add some color to my hair. So I'm starting at the edges and just adding some color. Now, my hair is mostly, mostly brown. So that's what I'm, where I'm starting with. And I'm adding my color like hair. So I'm adding it like how my, in lines like my hair would actually fall. Because I think that's gonna look a little more natural. You're gonna have to look at yourself and decide what your hair looks like because your hair probably does not look like mine. Um, and I'm just quickly adding it. I want to talk a little bit about what's going to come next. So, ooh, I colored on my clipboard a little bit on, on accident. So I'm adding my hair. And once I am done with this, once I've added all of my color to my hair, I want to go back and I want to use a different tool but I don't wanna use this other tool everywhere. So I want to, to talk to you guys about that. In your brown steam bag, in your brown steam bag, this bag, if you look in the bottom of it, you will find a black Sharpie. Now this black Sharpie is a permanent marker. So whatever you write on, it's gonna be very hard, if not impossible, to erase it. So this is not something you want to use on your dry erase board, and it's not something you want to do on your desk or your walls or anywhere like that. So you want to be really careful about this. I am going to start to outline parts of my drawing, and I want my nose to be outlined. Um, I'm going to leave my mouth alone, but I want the outside of my face and the outside of my ears to be outlined. And I'm just tracing where the lines already are in pencil. So I'm making those lines permanent. I'm gonna 
trace along my hair here. And I'm also going to trace along the outside of my eyes. And my eyebrows. And you might notice that when I did this, I need to go back and fill in some areas with color because I, I have, it sort of changed where some of my lines are and that's okay. I need to add a little more color to my eyebrows because my line was not in the same spot. All right. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do these lines around my eye my, the iris of my eye, and then I'm going to fill in the pupil so it's nice and dark. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to trace around the outside edge of my hair. It's just so it stands out a little bit more. Now where my hair goes off the page, I'm not going to worry about getting that. And I'm not worried about doing a perfect job. This is just sort of giving it some shape. All right. That is me. Or at least it's what it's what I've finished so far. I'm hoping you can get to this point today and we actually have some more to do tomorrow. Like we need to put something in the mouth. We've got to figure out what we're going to put in there and we're going to deal with the background. And my hair is not quite dark enough so I might need to add some more color to that. Go ahead and get your picture to this point and when you're done, when you're at this point, you can go ahead and put your self-portrait into your work folder. And so I'm gonna put mine in here on the work in progress side. See you in the next one.